there's no clear evidence uh, given to provided to the public saying linking that Assad's uh, Assad was actually responsible for the strikes that happened in Syria. No, no clear evidence was pre presented, and so striking Syria without um, without clear evidence is a very irrational action. Diplomacy, however, uh, as the Russian president stated, would actually help us um, to, to to find a solution instead of just striking without clear evidence supporting the claims. The, the, the Middle East is all linked together, and somehow uh, if one region falls or one region um, gets opened up to chaos, then it affects the whole Middle East. And so that therefore, if, the, the, if Syria does not get stabled, then it affects Georgian, uh, Jordan, and it does affect um, Israel, and it does affect Iran, and it does affect um, Egypt, and it, it affects all the North Africa, as well as the parts that are in Middle East. There are no links uh, saying that Iran will be responsible, and there are no links saying that Iran will attack and will use their n nuclear weapons program, and so that is why you need to strike Syria to, to show how much the U.S. has its uh, credibility at stake. These extremist groups, these terrorist groups, um, uh, like I said before, they, they find they um, rise when governments fall, and so striking Syria would lead to these terrorist groups uh, in actually obtaining these chemical weapons. And the very thing you are trying to, to your the very thing that you're trying not to happen will actually happen just by striking them. Because by striking, there isn't something called a pain break. When you, when you enter a civil war in a country, then you are responsible for what happens to that country, and you are responsible to whoever is at stake here. If you enter that country knowing that you're going, only going to support one side, then that will inflame what, what the country is, is trying to neglect, which is basically they're trying to resolve their, con their conflict. If a country enters there, then it is responsible for the deaths. It will be blamed for it and eventually will be dragged into this war. And it's not going to be a civil war anymore. It's going to be a bigger war and a bigger outbreak. As when allies come in, then everybody looks for their security and national interests. That's all. Thank you. Excellent.